first and foremost, you, you led a lot of this race, but what was, what, happened, what was that discussion with Joey Logano there? Yeah, he's just mad that I ran him up. Um, you know, but if you go back and look at the replay, at 12 kind of chucks him out of the way too. So it's just, you know, it's a hard race at the end. This place is, is really hard to get your tires warm once the caution comes out, as we all see everybody sliding around. So um, I just got in there deep and washed up into him, and then um, we just kind of got all tangled up after that. So he just came in there and said that uh, to me in a bunch of different words, <laughs> but I knew what happened. What's your um, kind of emotions in the sense of you led a lot of laps, you were leaning there with 10 to go, but almost a sitting duck there on the restart? Yeah, it just was unfortunate. Um, you know, I guess got to get better at restarts. My team brought me a great car, as we saw, and I did a great job, so it was, uh, it was a good showing. You ran away from Denny earlier, and then he got around you there. Yeah. What what changed between you two? You think? Uh, you know, he just got in. Uh, he just did a good job of getting back in contention um, for the race win, and uh, I just overdrove the corner there, and then I just got wrecked after. You ended up with, by leading so many laps. Does it? I know it's a racetrack with that's unlike anything else this season. But to start the season this strong, what does it say for you and the 54 team? Yeah, I mean they just did a great job. We then. Um, we left off where we started last year, or where we ended, I guess. So it was a good showing for us. I think we, our guys just did a great job. The experience helps, and we'll just keep going. Well, with the, after the, that last re, or the restart with 10 to go, were you just trying to hold on? I mean, I, you know, uh, did no. Larson got, got When I was in the lead? Yes. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, after, after Denny got by, yeah. kind of Yeah, kind of. I, we were definitely faster at the time. He had left front lockup issues, and... Um, so did I. Uh, I think that's something on our side as an uh, organization with our left fronts. Um, but I, I just overdrove it trying to get to him and, and kind of just messed up and, and lost position for, for there. This is Austin Dillon, driver of the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out one of those two videos beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.